Okay, these are some casts that I've purchased over the years, uh, the last uh, three or four years. And I just want to show you um, something that I call uh, sequential multi-pass flaking. And uh, what that means is uh, these, these flakes are taken in sequence side by side and there's usually more than one pass. So uh, along the face the uh, the napper does you know uh, two or more passes of these sequential flakes. Okay, it's a um, it's a little bit different than you know doing that same kind of flaking on the edge to resharpen because uh, sometimes you get beveling and different effects. I'm talking mainly about flaking across the face of uh, artifacts in this video. Okay, so. I'm just going to show you a bunch of these just to give you an idea of uh, what the real things look like. Uh, this is a first view. This is one of the earliest types to appear with this kind of flaking, with the uh, sequential multi-pass flaking. And the edges are really straight. And everything is technically almost perfect. It's an awesome point. And modern nappers love this stuff. Okay, They love it to the extent that there's a bias towards studying these. Uh, this is also uh, from the same time period. This is an Eden point. Again, you got sequential flaking and there's evidence of previous passes. So this was done in more than one pass. Again, the edges are very straight. Okay, and these two are the earliest of these casts that I have, uh, earliest time period. All these casts are plastic uh, from various companies that make casts. Uh, you can get these from Lithics Casting Lab. These two here, um, and most of these you can get from Lithics Casting Lab. There's a few in here from some other company I, I can't remember. Um, but I think I'll post links. Anyway, these cross sections, um, they're not, you know, exceedingly thin, but they are kind of thin. Very regular, these two. And these are both from the Cody complex. Uh, so there's a debate on whether these first views are Cody, but they certainly do look that way. Okay. Um, next up here the uh, next oldest I think is the Allen point the radiocarbon dates are pretty old for this type I showed this in an earlier video now, this one's exceptionally thin it's a very rare piece <clears throat> but I think there's evidence here of uh, previous passes not just this final pass so again it's a uh, sequential multi-pass flaking and uh, it's an Allen point. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. But um, the edges aren't as straight. And they tend to favor one side. And uh, I'm not sure if that's diagnostic of these multi pass, of the multi pass technique. You get that kind of a favoring of one side. But it does, you do see that in a lot of points where. It looks like they worked one side last and didn't try to even it up. They just left it, you know, kind of curved. Okay, the next uh, I think are the Dalton types. I've got three Dalton points in here. You can see the kind of a variation in flaking styles. These are all considered Dalton, but the flaking is slightly different. But it's all basically the same idea where you have sequential multipass. There's evidence, it's pretty clear on this one here, of previous passes. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. And again, the edges aren't as straight as the Cody's. They're pretty straight, but they're. You know, this one is very straight actually. 
but this one you can see it does curve a little bit very thin uh, these the, the thickness varies a little bit so it's a little more unrefined than the Cody's and again the edges aren't perfect you do have some curvature that, this one's curved in the opposite way as the uh, Allen. See how the Allen curves this way and the Dalton curves the other way. Anyway, awesome flaking. But the edges aren't perfectly straight and it's not a perfect flaking job on it but it's pretty darn close this one here a few little burgery spots but uh, overall you know technically very very well done edges are not perfectly straight they were not too concerned about that cross section is a little bit bumpy you know there's some thicker areas and some thinner areas uh, all these Daltons <coughs> excuse me have various thicknesses they don't taper perfectly like the uh, Cody's some of them have thicker bases than others this one is very thinned or stems I should say wedge shaped may have been you know thin too much who knows and then I've got uh, a Holland point these came after Dalton's as far as I know a little bit more elaborate stem very similar flaking the edges on this one are actually pretty straight but you can see a slight bit of waviness A little bit of evidence of uh, serration. Okay, and the last one here, uh, St. Mary's Hall. This is from Texas. Uh, the other ones are from the Midwest. And um, I can't really, my powers of observation aren't really that good, especially if I don't have my glasses on, but you can probably see some evidence of previous passes on this one. So I believe this was, um, you know, done in several passes, one, at least two passes. And there's some serration on here too. and it was done in sequence you can see how they overlap this one's a little more random than the others and there's some skipped areas kind of skip that spot it's not as technically perfect as the others but it does exhibit the sequential flaking okay so just to give you a perspective uh... i made this little chart here I'm not sure how clear that is okay this is a 10,000 year period 0 to 10 and up here is the uh, the ranges for all these points I just showed you uh, most of them fall in this range there are some dates I've seen in this range here so the dates fall in between these two ranges okay so all these points that I showed you were made in this date range okay I'm going to zoom in again and these are the points I showed you first few Eden, Dalton, Allen, Holland, St. Mary's Hall okay most of the 
radiocarbon dates are between 8,000 and 9,000 years but uh, I've seen dates 7,000 to 10,000 and <coughs> excuse me <coughs> there are other time periods older than this slightly older than that and and more recent than this so for the total time period that I'm showing the these points were made uh, uh, 10 to 30 percent of, of that time period, this total time period. Okay, what I call sequential multipass flaking. Now the video is about bias, modern bias, uh, for certain types of points and flaking and styles. Uh, most nappers these days focus on these types of points in replicating or studying and this time period uh, in my view I see I see a uh, devotion to this particular time period and this particular technology um, all over the place I see that quite a bit to the extent that some points like the St. Mary's Hall are typed specifically because they exhibit this kind of sequential multi-purpose multi-pass flaking you know um, that's the diagnostic trait, diagnostic trait of that particular point of St. Mary's Hall, um, which I don't particularly agree with, but you know that's that's something else. So, what is the most common type of flaking through all time periods in all uh, in all uh, artifacts? The most common flaking is random flaking. Okay, and it's exhibited throughout all time periods and even side by side with these guys okay so I just put it puts some things in perspective and uh, I'll be focusing mainly on random flaking as I've always done in my videos uh, even when I get into replicating I'll be concerned mainly with uh, uh, the most common types of flaking and the most common shapes and so forth. Okay, so I just want to give you a couple of measurements also on the uh, size of these casts. This Dalton here is um, a little over inch and a half wide. And, you know, five, five and five eighths long. That's the biggest cast I have. Um, the other Dalton, not quite as long, and the width is uh, inch and a quarter, about an inch and a quarter, uh, by, you know, five and a quarter. And the other Dalton. inch and a quarter by about three and three quarters so I mean not very big relatively speaking um, especially when you look at modern reproductions of these they tend to be larger than this uh, in general so when I do you know uh, replications and discuss uh, point types and the averages and so forth. My averages are going to be less than what you normally would see with modern napping these days. Modern napping tends to focus on larger pieces and not only uh, real artifacts that are larger than I showed but you know larger in general as far as what they like to nap. Um, let's see. I think that's it. I have a few more casts that I'm going to discuss in other videos. I'm spending a lot of money on casts lately, <laughs> so um, I think my collection will be finished here shortly as far as casts go. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, I, I remember now what I was going to show you. Uh, I've got some uh, Cody type points that I was trying to reproduce a while ago uh, using indirect percussion. 
and uh, these are all in indirect percussion with copper so I have studied this type and I have tried the flaking on this type uh, I've tried pressure on these I just I don't have very good results with pressure uh, probably because I haven't used very much but I have used it I do understand the concept of you know what these look like and I am going to try to reproduce these uh, using organic materials but uh, I'm going to try to reproduce these not only with pressure but with percussion as well now, I know they can be done with indirect percussion I'm not going to stick with that only but I am going to make some with antler indirect and with uh, or bone indirect and with antler and you know various materials but, uh, um, I do like this point style or this flaking style also but I'm not you know fixated on it uh, I will show some of this in the future but most of my videos will not be focused on a particular type of flaking um, I try to you know go over <clears throat> in most of my videos what I consider to be the most common types of techniques and most common types of flaking. Okay, that's it.